Welcome to Tim and the Goats podcast. I am the goat. This is Tim. Your boy. <laughs> we are here to talk about <laughs> week two. <laughs> it, for week two football. And we, unfortunately, had some difficulties for week one trying to set up our podcast. And so we are going to start off for our week two picks. And so we got the Chiefs and the Chargers. And unfortunately, I wasn't there for the to watch the game live or on TV. Um, so I picked the Chiefs to win, and they actually ended up winning, which is a good thing. I picked the Chiefs to win also. Um, thought I picked the Chargers, um, but I did pick the Chiefs. Um, it was a good game, though. I mean, the Chargers got up to a big lead or somewhat of a big lead, and then the momentum definitely shifted to the Chiefs' side. Um, but Chiefs got there with the win. Uh, so, yeah, I think they played somewhat well. Damn. My mom was hella hyped about that one. I bet. Well, I mean, so she, hyped. She, Chiefs fan. At first, that's why I went looking at the score. I was like, for sure, the Chargers are going to win. But I think that call where they reversed that uh, interception and then they ended up scoring a touchdown, that definitely changed the game. Um, and then that pick six, Herbert threw, that definitely hurt. Um, and him also getting hurt, I think he had like what, a couple of bruised ribs now. Um, that didn't help. Fractured, aren't they? Or fractured, yeah. So that's not even even worse. Um, sucks for me because that's my fantasy quarterback. <laughs> yeah, that first. does that does suck. Um, but I mean, he played through it, so he said he's day to day. So hopefully he feels better. Um, but for week two, there was the Jets and the Browns. I picked the Browns. I totally thought the Browns were going to win. Um, definitely wrong. <laughs> crazy game. I mean, they were up. They were up. You know, big. I mean, they were winning by by two scores. Just you know, old Joe Flacco, I guess, came out. Fuck, I know. I pr- I thought the Browns' defense was gonna take care of that. I dude, they were up thirteen or fourteen with like a minute and a half and Something like that. lost. Yeah. So I thought that was pretty crazy itself. Lions and Commanders. I picked the Lions. Kind of a huge fan of DeAndre Swift. I had him in my fantasy last year, as I do this year. Gets the touches, averages like five, six yards a carry. Get two touchdowns a day. Yeah, he does work. Yeah, he was good. I mean, I I was totally wrong. I picked the Commanders. I thought they were going to win. I thought they played kind of well last week, so I thought they would play off of that. Um I just don't think the Lions are very – I mean, they're they're okay, but I didn't think they were very good, so I thought the Commanders were better, but I was very wrong on that one. Well, Lions are proving themselves. They are. They're not playing too bad. They're not playing too bad. Now we got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the New Orleans Saints. I picked the Saints. I don't like Tom Brady. I will root for any other team he plays with against. So – Saints it is. That's my reason. Yeah, I picked the Buccaneers. I hate Tom Brady, too, but I think they're a better football team. Um, and they ended up winning. Um, there was a crazy brawl, too. Mike Evans got ejected. Punches and punches thrown. I heard about that. Yeah, it was pretty big. I mean, I know there was some to- uh, John between Tom Brady and uh, you know some Saints players, and then yeah, Mike Evans and Marshawn Lattimore totally just went at it. Fuck. It was crazy. It was pretty nuts. Cortland sent me a video on it. I thought it was pretty wild. It was wild, yeah. I was just like, dude, you're... You guys are already kind of short-handed at wide receiver, so <laughs> you kind of need to stay out there, man. Um, but for the next game, we have the Panthers and the Giants. Um, I thought Baker was going to beat the Giants. Same. Giants are just squeezing out wins, man. Dude. Close games, but though, I mean... Wins a win. Wins a win, though. But, yeah, they're finding ways. Started 2-0. I mean, they haven't done that in a long time. <laughs> um, but, yeah, they're playing pretty good. Playing decent, I guess. I thought they were going to take care of it, too. But, yeah, they're just squeaking out wins. Squeaking it out. Went for two last week. Now they're just winning by three this week. Yeah. Crazy. Like said, win to win. Start up 2-0. It doesn't, doesn't matter how it happens. People look back. They're still going to say you're 2-0. Um, Steelers Patriots. Oof. This one per Cole for sure. It did. I think it hurt me too. I mean, I picked the Steelers too, but losing by a field goal at the end. Steelers fan. It always hurts. 
Yeah. We just need to bench Mitch <laughs> Trubisky. I just want to say that, dude. He just throws 168 yards. How do you do that in a game? Yeah, he didn't look very good. 50 of that went to Deontay Johnson, though. Yeah, I almost texted you. I almost said, can you pick your time? But That's what everybody's saying. Might as well put him in. Dude, you have to put him in. It's might as well. I mean, our offense isn't moving. Yeah. The only way we can move is if we're already down the field. Like, if we get an interception or a fumble, that doesn't happen. When I was watching the only throws I saw Trubisky make was ones that were the wide receiver was like wide open. Other ones he like contested. Like that one he threw like threw it right, right to that one dude. I think that was first interception when it got tipped. Mm-hmm. Like, dude, I was right at him. Oh yeah, the, I saw I saw that dude. He literally <laughs> threw it right to yeah, him. Yeah, and just when it popped right up and went to the other guy's hands, it's just like, who are you looking at? <laughs> he missed a lot of open people. Yeah, well, that's kind of Trubisky. So might as well see what the rookie can do. I mean, I know it's early in the year, um, but when I, like I said, I told you this before. I mean, you have should have a short lease on Trubisky, and you drafted Kenny Pickett for a reason. So why not see what he has? You know, see what he can do. You know. Throw him out there. You can't put points on the board. I mean, it can't be any worse than what you have now. So, I mean, either Trubisky's going to move the ball forward or not, or Kenny Pickett is. So, see what he can at least do. I mean, you have a short lease on both of them. I mean, I don't know. You don't want to ruin the, you know, rookie's confidence either, but. Yeah, that's true. That's true. All right. Now, this next game, I think, surprise everybody here. You know, got the Colts and the Jaguars. I picked the Colts. I was not expecting a tour to a goose egg blowout. No, I don't think, yeah. And like I said, I don't think anybody saw that coming. Um, I thought Jonathan Taylor was going to work him, but he got stuffed. Um, Matt Ryan looked terrible. <laughs> he did not play well at all. Uh, so, yeah, I was surprised that Jaguars came out and basically just punched him in the mouth. And they didn't know what to do. Seriously. <laughs> yeah, like for real. Like just came out there and one straight up, you know, jab and it's like, oh shit, you know, I'm we're done. <laughs> Twenty I didn't even watch a game, but damn. Yeah, it was Matt Ryan did not look good. I mean I didn't I didn't see the stats or nothing, but just watching from what I saw, they didn't look good and look like he was he was on. Um not the you know, Matt Ryan you're used to seeing. I mean, it probably also hurt that Pittman was out. So he didn't have much to throw to, but. Still got to make those plays. You have to. It's next man up, you know, and it's the Jaguars they're playing, so. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> now, this is probably the game of the week with the Ravens Dolphins. That was a crazy game. You know, Dolphins being down, what, 21 points? Or yeah, something like dude, that was I was n- not. When Corlin said the Dolphins won, I was like, oh, no. Yeah, I was not. Like, I was thought you know, the Ravens had it in the book. And I'm like, yeah, that's, I, that's why I thought it was going to happen. And then next thing you know, here comes fucking Tua throwing two long TD bombs to Tyreek and Waddle. Right there, and Waddle. Yeah, Waddle went off to, you know, Tyreek Hill went off. Just like Tua went off. <laughs> Tua went off. And he throws, yeah, six touchdowns. Didn't think Tua would do that ever. <laughs> Not, you know, putting a diss on Tua, but I just, I didn't think he would throw six touchdowns. I'm going to pick him up in my fantasy this week, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully. I think a lot of people are going to start picking him up if they don't already have him. Uh, after that, that wouldn't be a big, I wouldn't be surprised if most people picked up Tua. If he's not in your league, you should probably pick him up too. Um Got some deep threats. I might. He's looking good. It's yeah, helping him. Wide he is, receivers. He is. I mean, looking good. I mean, you got two fast wide receivers like Tyreek and Waddle. That really helps. You know, Waddle's quick. So, um, Lisa didn't know that Waddle's uh, touchdown celebration was, you know, Waddle like a penguin. <laughs> so now that's her new favorite player. She's like, if I knew that he did that, too bad I got him. That's too bad. That's why I told him. At least I got him. So at least one of us got him. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, the next game was Seahawks 49ers. That was not what I thought was going to happen. No, I totally skipped one. It's actually the Rams Falcons. We'll get to that one later. <laughs> <laughs> talk about it anyway. <laughs> so Rams Falcons. <laughs> that was closer than I thought it was going to be. I totally thought the Rams were going to be up the Falcons. I didn't think it would be that close. Looking at the score, I was not expecting it to be that close. Yeah, I didn't see. I saw the beginning of it. I know they. I think the Rams got up to quick score, so maybe they did kind of just let up, and it was just the 
Falcons throwing all over the place and how I play against Madden against you and just never giving up and score looks closer than it actually game was. Colin needs those timeouts. Yeah. Kind of yeah. like Broncos coach last week. <laughs> yep. <that was laughs> For th- no reason. You're going to lose by calling timeout. Yeah, that's terrible. <laughs> yeah, I didn't uh, watch the game, but. Yeah, so I saw part of it. close. Um, no, Cooper Cup did good, but. Two that's touchdowns. Obvious. Yeah, just Cooper Cup being Cooper Cup. Washington can his guy, too, so. Thank you. Cole played against him. The GOAT. I did. Goat I did. Goat Tore it up. Tore it up against us. Yep. Good whopping, like, 40 something, and, like, 10. Yeah. So. Go on, talk about it. <laughs> All right, now I guess we can go to the Seahawks 49ers, I guess. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. They suck. Gino was being Gino. I guess that he was just. Wasn't moving the ball? Wasn't moving the ball. Like Mr. Trubisky. Trubisky. Exactly. Probably even worse than Trubisky. He was bad. I don't know. Mitch Trubisky should have had like 20 interceptions that <laughs> game. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I, don't know, I think it's just, I mean. Young, you're a young team, but they just didn't—they didn't look good today. They definitely showed it. Um, yeah, the defense was soft. Couldn't get anything going on offense. I mean, besides, I mean, Tyler Lockett looked good, um, but that's normal. He's a—he's—he's he's good. Um, but it's not surprised. I think the Seahawks. I, I've always said they don't think they're going to be good this year. Um, I was surprised. I think everybody was surprised last week that they beat the Broncos. I think they were just so pumped up from wanting to beat Russell that it didn't translate into this week. Plus, they're away, and they never play good away. Um, but I don't want to talk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Bengals I'm hurt. and yeah. Dallas. I should have picked Dallas. Tyler likes Dallas. I should have picked Dallas like I talked about it. I thought you picked Dallas. No, I picked the Bengals. Change your I changed it. it. Changed it. Changed it to the Bengals. Well, I mean, the Bengals came back. I mean, I think they, I don't know if it went to overtime, but I mean, Cowboys won on a field goal. I mean, Cooper Rush didn't look very bad either. So, I mean. I didn't watch the game, but. I only saw bits and pieces, and I'm like, if I mean, Cooper Rush is keeping you in this game, I mean, Dak better watch out. Cooper Rush might take your spot. For real, I don't know though. I don't. They paid. They paid. They did. I mean, they ain't gonna bench him. No, I mean, if he's healthy, he's obviously gonna play. But it's your favorite player, anyway. I mean, that's gonna put the Cowboys in a, you know, a big situation if Cooper Rush plays better. Tim loves Dak. I hate Dak. He loves I Dak. Hate Dak. No, I don't only really hate Dak. I just don't think he's good as a lot of people say he is. He thinks he's a terrible human being. I don't think he's a terrible human being. I have no problem. He doesn't with like him as a human being. being. I just don't think he's the shook his hand and just does not like him. <laughs> Never met the man in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think he's good. Um, I don't think he's worth the money that they paid him. Um, people think he's a top ten quarterback. I don't. I put a lot more than ten people in front of him. Yeah, I can agree. So yeah, I just I just don't see it. Yeah, then we got the Texans and Broncos. That's right. Broncos country. That's right. No. Um, Russell's not looking good. Not really. Actually, no. not in this or game. The last game, he didn't look bad. They just couldn't put points in the end yeah, zone. They're just like, it's offense. One or the other. Stagnant. Yeah, it's just like, not, it's not moving. And it's like, you would think it would against the Texans. And I thought this game was a lot closer than it should have been. They were down for actually quite what, six nothing for a while before they kicked those two field goals. And I think again, Nathaniel Hackett taking the ball out of Russell's hands when it was there it was fourth and one in at the it was fourth and goal at the one yard line. There's only like twenty and he kicks a field goal. Fuck. It's like why wouldn't you not go for it when there's only twenty seconds left? I mean at the one yard line. They're not they can't go anywhere in twenty seconds. So why not just give Russell another shot to score? I mean, I, that doesn't make sense why you would you, you paid that guy and you're going to just keep not going yeah, for it. Yeah, you're going to put it keep you know, putting you know the kicker out there when in those situations. I mean, that's I mean that Russell went to 
Got to let Russell let cook. Russ cook. That's the reason why he chose you guys to get traded to you guys. So he can cook. He can cook because he didn't feel like he was that he could cook in Seattle. So looks like it's the same thing in Denver. So looks like he's turning vegan. Yeah, I just I think a lot of it's Sierra too. I don't I don't think ever since he married Sierra he changed. He let him cook. Yeah, he let him cook. Maybe he's a bad cook. <laughs> Pro- probably. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn. <laughs> Uh, Raiders and Cardinals. The game actually just ended, and we heard the Cardinals won, but we both picked Raiders. We did pick the Raiders. High flying offense was up twenty, and fell short. Raiders raided themselves. They raided themselves. Nope. I mean, they looked good. I mean, I was watching the game. And I'm like, the Cardinals looked terrible to start the game. Like, they just looked horrible. And then all of a sudden, here they come. They win. So, I hate to be a Raider fan right now. <laughs> like, <laughs> no kidding. I'd be pissed. You're up that much, and you they come back and lose. Without DeAndre Hopkins, they have, like, no wide receivers. I think their offensive line is terrible, too. James Conner is their running back. Who's, I mean, he's not terrible, but we're, the Raiders are going to come back. That was believe it. Fuck. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't th- I didn't think the Cardinals offense was gonna be good, but they pulled it out. So Packers, Bears. Yeah. Sunday night game. Um, I got the Packers. Um they're good at home. Um and then Aaron Rodgers or Rodgers owns the Bears. So I think that they're gonna but we'll see. I mean, anything can happen with Justin Fields. Exactly. Anything can happen. Uh, the way they played, you know, the Packers played last week. Terrible. Shows that the you know Browns could Browns could have a, ch- <laughs> have a chance. So Tim's brown himself. I just brown brown pants. So you can't see. Um, that was weird. Um, <laughs> fudge pack. Um, <laughs> I picked the Packers. Looks like, yeah, when they're home, and Aaron Rodgers usually always beats the Bears. Um, and then there's two Monday night games with the Bills and Titans. We'll talk about them first. So I think everybody picks the Bills. I don't, know. I don't, Bills. See, I don't see the Titans winning. When you only have Derrick Henry. Stephon Diggs, he's a good wide receiver, one of my favorite players in the league. Yeah. Josh Allen's a stud. Yeah, Josh Allen's you know, going to go for that MVP. So, I think, yeah, I think they'll – Bills should handle the Titans no problem. But, I mean, this is a weird week. There's a lot of – I mean, we've been wrong a lot. So Yeah, we don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. We're supposed to know these things. And obviously, don't, don't know our things. Yeah. So. Not doing good on the pick. No. Like I said, it's been a weird week, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We got uh, four right. It could stay weird, and the Titans could beat the Bills. Time to get like that. That would be weird, but I'm not gonna put my money. I'm still gonna pick the Bills. I'll pick the Dollar Dollar Bill, y'all. Dollar Dollar Bills. And then with the Eagles and Vikings, I think this one's gonna be a good Monday night game too, because I think these are two kind of evenly matched. Should teams. be. Yeah. Should be a good one. Um, but I think the Eagles are gonna um, squeak. Out a ten point win. Squeak. Squeak. Since you like using that word, I'm gonna steal it. Actually, a tough game. I go back and forth. Like you said, they're like very evenly matched teams. They're like very equal. Yeah. Tim's other favorite players. No. Um. I don't know how. It kind of depends how Jalen hurts. If he can was depends how. It is this game. If he's accurate, they'll definitely win. If he looks like last week, they'll definitely win. AJ Brown is looking like a stud too. I mean, he always has, but he's looking good in that Philly uniform. Like playing really well. So if they can, you know, keep doing that. You know, I mean, he didn't even have to use Devontae Smith last week, so I think that's a good thing. I think he's pretty, you know, he's decent. Um, but I think he'll get his looks because you know people are going to start doubling AJ Brown. So it's good to have another wide receiver like Devontae to help. Um, but yeah, I think Eagles, I think they're going to pull out that win. 
Um, I would not be surprised if the Vikings come out and want to. Justin Jefferson's a beast. He's a beast. He's too, he's too good. I went as <laughs> last week in fantasy. I won't talk about right, it. Right, yeah. He's too 40 good. points or something like that. Yeah, he's too good. Um, so, yeah, I would not be surprised. Young Randy Moss. For real. Oh, yeah, he's, he's good. Looking like Randy Dandy out there. Rand University. Yeah, no kidding. He's looking. He wants to be a big. It's like Randy Moss got younger and changed his name to Justin Jefferson. Or me, looking like Justin Jefferson. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, me. Just because your name's a go doesn't mean. Just a go at everything. You can can call me Cole Jefferson. Cole Jefferson. Cole Jefferson. It's going to be my new name. Cole Jefferson. Yep. Change his name to Justin Butler. (laughs) 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 And those are picks for week two. We will be back again for week three. We will be earlier this time. We won't be going on during the middle of the day. We'll get them done before Sunday, too. Yes. We'll get them out hopefully every Saturday try and get them out um but you know we both have lives also so we'll do the best we can um but either way we'll get picks to first video first video yep we'll we'll get uh, better we'll get better um but yeah, hit that like button subscribe share uh put your thoughts down in the comments you know what you guys think uh, so we'll read them yeah, yeah. see right. you next week all right